Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another video. So yesterday I was informed by one of the testers of something that honestly I wasn't even aware of, mainly because I've kind of been stuck on plasma and lightning for like ever now what it seems. I, I really haven't used any other classes besides that. But I was informed that Brawler is insanely OP when it comes to bosses. Now, if you guys remember my very first Sorcerer Fighting Simulator video, I actually mentioned about Brawler and I said that I wasn't a big fan of melee DPSs. I've personally always been a fan of long range DPS. But honestly, man, if you guys are just starting this game right now, I highly, highly suggest that you guys go Brawler because it is seriously going to make all the difference and i'm going to be showing you guys in today's video what exactly you need to do to basically take out any of the bosses by yourself so obviously before we get started let me swap on over here to brawler and i do want to go ahead and show you guys that my brawler stats are really not that crazy i do have a somewhat pretty crazy multiplier considering i never had leveled up brawler before but 28.94 bill is really not all that much and as you can see from down here on my quick bar i already have every single one of the spells which took me roughly around i want to say maybe be like an hour or two last night so it's really not all that difficult to go ahead and not only complete every single one of the quests but also to get the very last boss drop which trust me you guys need to get this brawler as a class itself is absolutely insane but once you get that final boss drop dude the class just breaks now obviously if you do have the creator game pass then you could probably make this even crazier throwing in some healing spells maybe some lightning spells as well but obviously i know that a lot of you don't have the robux to go ahead and purchase this so i'm specifically doing it with just the brawler class equipped and i'm sure a lot of you are a lot better players than me and can probably one shot this boss using the method that i am going to show you guys but i apparently have 10 thumbs so i am not the best at this but i'm going to show you guys really quickly just how insane this is so let's go ahead and jump into this boss right here this is the high one so the goal for this boss is basically just kind of kiting him around you don't really want to do too much damage right now because you're not going to be doing the most amount of damage so all you really want to do is just kind of go around let him do his thing and wait until he spawns in the orb once he spawns in the orb all you want to go ahead and do is make sure that you take it out as quick as possible which this guy is taking forever right now there we go so the orb is going to pop up now let's go ahead and take this out really quick and then we're going to do the boss ability and start doing damage to him notice this is the very first time that i am doing damage to him this run and look at his health already dude like I don't know how I didn't know about this and how nobody's told me until Quicks, one of the testers, told me. But bro, this thing is insane. Obviously, if you're a lot quicker, you could probably take it out in one shot. But like I said before, I have all thumbs, so I <laughs> I can't swap between my spells very quickly. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish him off here. We should be able to end it really quick here. Yep, there we go. Defeated. That literally took us, what, like 20 seconds? And that was the high boss. That is the craziest part about this entire thing. Just imagine what we could do to Mr. Colossal Crab over here which sure enough you best believe i'ma show you but yeah if you haven't caught on already the most important spell that you need here is call of the beast which is the boss drop honestly it really didn't take me that long you just want to make sure that you've already completed all of the spell quests for the brawler class but you don't need to complete every single one of the quests in order to get this drop if you notice i still haven't done the final one and mr colossal crab is in here so let's go ahead pop call of the beast jump here in the middle and let's watch his health look at that dude look at how insane that is like it, it doesn't even make sense how much damage you do with brawler this is just insane no problem whatsoever we just took that boss down the medium one is a little more annoying because he is very similar to like the high boss you kind of have to wait until he does a specific phase now for the colossal crab that we just took out which is the low boss that one there's nothing that you really need to do just go in and brute force the boss but this guy right here is probably one of the more annoying ones so again same concept here just go ahead kite him around don't really attack him right now there's no point you're not going to be doing that much damage i mean you could if you really wanted to but you're kind of wasting your time specifically what you're looking for in this fight is for him to do the area attack where he kind of starts shooting around like this huge green orb that what he's doing right there he's going to do it a total of six times so once he's on the fifth one go ahead and pop your attack jump in and keep in mind keep in mind this is my first time attacking it it's already under 50 percent how crazy is that dude look at his health it honestly just doesn't even make sense how much damage you can do to this i'm gonna end him right here and i don't even have call of the beast activated right now and look at this dude look at how much damage we're doing to him okay so i may have wasted a little bit of time angling my camera up there so i didn't finish him off but dude it's just i don't understand why this is so op and why i never knew about it clearly i'm living under a rock and i'm sure some of you that are brawler are probably like oh dude i've been known this 
wish you would have told me but yeah man just like that we've now gone ahead and taken down all three of the bosses in in probably under a minute obviously you won't be doing crazy amounts of damage if you don't have call of the beast but again it's super easy to get you just need to make sure that you've already unlocked at least these powers up to bullet lock that's the last one that you need and then you can go into the boss fights and you will have a chance of getting call of the beast from one of the drops now to all of my individuals out there that are watching this video and you have the creator game pass i'm sure i don't really need to tell you myself but taking the time to go ahead and unlock some of these spells for healer to go ahead and mix into the brawler spells would be absolutely golden I actually just a few minutes ago started doing my quest for healer if you notice down here i'm on the fourth quest because i do plan on buying the creator game pass i know so many of you in the comments yesterday which thank you so much told me that it's definitely worth it 100 and i did tell you guys that i was going to think about getting the no multi cap which turns out i ended up getting it last night because i had more than enough mana to go ahead and upgrade my lightning to be past the cap so creator magic is definitely something that i will be getting probably after this video but yeah man so many of you have been getting in contact with me asking me to join my games to join a public server so that i can help you guys out with bosses and as much as i would love to go ahead and help you guys it's really hard for me to do it for every single one of you so for that reason i figured it would be really cool if i shared this little tip with you guys just so that that way you can go ahead and start getting those boss drops for yourself remember the more bosses that you do the better drops you get from the spells as well as your passive spells for the general if you have absolutely no idea what i'm talking about i'm talking about these general spells right here again i started doing this last night so i haven't even gotten all of them myself but i did get the consecutive hits as well as the stun but the one that you really want to go for is this golden attack if you get this golden attack and you mix it with the brawler oh my god dude it is insane but yeah man i hope that this does help some of you out just to give you guys a quick little update on my progress so far since i know a lot of you like to keep track of that i am sitting at 711.59 trillion total power right now and like i told you guys yesterday i have gone ahead and made it onto the lightning leaderboards as you can see right here i'm currently 53 on the leaderboard and with this new finding of the brawler situation that's going on here i'm gonna be farming that boss a lot the next couple of hours so i'm gonna be racking up these gems so i can get some more tarot cards and you know keep climbing up that leaderboard but yeah, man i hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video if so make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for all types of different content i would really appreciate that thank you guys so so much for all the support on my recent videos and thank you to all of the new subscribers i really do appreciate it guys as i've said numerous times already i'm having an insane amount of fun with this game and i will 100 still be bringing a lot more content to you guys and obviously a lot of these little small things as i do come across them and individuals do tell me but yeah man that's pretty much gonna go ahead and do it for today's video like always i will see you guys in the next one take care